Hi, I'm Bob Garfield, the ad critic for Advertising Age, and you know, I spend a lot of time looking at TV commercials from every point of view imaginable. But the thing I really enjoy most is when a performance in a TV spot really breaks through. Movie actors have all kinds of time to establish their characters and have their special moments. And TV commercial actors have sometimes uh, not only a few seconds, but perhaps just an instant. Sometimes not even a word of dialogue. And that's why the, uh, I started doing the Bobby Awards 11 years ago. And once again, for the 2008 year, I've looked at the best performances. Let's begin with women. You know this lady. Seriously? Yeah. Look at the deal we just got him. That's a new pair of shoes. Yeah, or a big tricked out name tag. Her name is Stephanie Courtney, and uh, she has created a kind of postmodern Josephine the Plumber. This is a woman with, uh, with not only personality, but she's, a, she's kind of over the top, uh, but not in any way obnoxious. She's just as charming as can be. Uh, she, you get the idea that this uh, weird lady cares deeply about you and your insurance needs. You've got to go to pretty much the opposite pole of the acting continuum uh, to recognize the performance of Alison Ryan in a spot for Duracell batteries. Uh, she got an opportunity to do something actresses in TV commercials seldom uh, get to do these days, which is to have a moment of drama. It was a beautiful day in the park. Kevin, can you hand me that? That turned to panic Kevin. in an instant. And everything depended on a brick Kevin. house child locator. Kevin! Kevin! And packed inside every locator is the only battery brick house trusts, Duracell. So even if you hope you'll never have to use it. It's hard to go through the range of emotions this woman discovers in the, in the space of an hour, much less the 10 seconds uh, that we see her on screen. But it's, it's a pretty remarkable uh, performance. As delighted as I was to see an opportunity for an actress to act in a non-comedic role, I still, I still have to award the Bobby in 2008 to Geneva Carr. She is the mom in the AT&T wireless spots about saving your rollover minutes. For the last time, our minutes don't expire. Whose minutes are these? Mom, it's April. Those minutes are from September. They still work. Yeah, but they're from September. They're rollover minutes. They're exactly the same. <laughs> the expressions on this woman's face as uh, she makes clear that she just really kind of despises her family <laughs> and loves them at the same time. And I love Geneva Carr. Congratulations. You have a coveted Bobby trophy. Let's turn now to the best performance by an actor in 2008. The, the first nominee for a Bobby is Jarleth Conroy, who you will recognize as the guy you saw close to a hundred million times uh, uh, since Thanksgiving as the desk clerk in a seedy hotel for Verizon Wireless. We only got one room left, but I doubt you'll want it. Why not? It's a dead zone. Can't get your calls, your precious emails. It's like you don't even exist. It was a fabulous performance. Maybe in any other year, the hands-down winner for Best Actor would have been the voice behind this infant. Wait, yeah, you know, get an email. Oh, a bad girl. Man. Anyway, you know, I can get streaming quotes on it. God, relentless. Hang on a sec. Hey, hey, girl, can I hit you back? <laughs> I have seen this commercial so many times, it makes me laugh out loud every time. The baby is well done in the first instance, but his voice is what really makes these spots work. And it happens belong to, to belong to the director of the commercials, Randy Crowman. He voiced his own baby actor. And, it, you know, the way he's talking in the vernacular is, I don't, it's just, it's just brilliant. Uh, I love this man. And in any other year, he would have been a hands-down winner of the male Bobby. But unfortunately for Randy, he was up against Wendell Middlebrooks. Skybox is right up here in section la -de -da. How's everybody doing? Can anybody tell me what inning we're in? All right, boys, we take it back to High Life. See, the High Life is about sitting in the sun and, and watching your favorite pitcher get lit up. Take him out. This guy is a one-man crusade against elitism 
and you can't, can't not but agree. The Wendell Middlebrooks, the winner of the 2008 Best Performance by a Male Actor, The Bobby. The final category for the 2008 Bobby's Best Performance by a Celebrity. Uh, let's start with Charlie Sheen. We should do dinner. You like Korean barbecue? Uh, no. If we could just trade info, maybe you and no. I could... Take care of it. The number's in there. Uh -huh. Call me. You know, it's actually quite a trick to pretend to be less famous than you are in order to be sucking up to a famous person. And uh, you got to congratulate him for letting himself be the butt of the joke. Well done. The second nominee for the 2008 Celebrity Bobby is Tina Fey. This has been her year. Tina. Tina Fey. Mr. Scorsese. Please, Marty. Okay, uh, Marty. I really love the comedy you're doing. It's early screwball, you know, with the twist. I can't believe you've seen it. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about something that could be a unique opportunity for you. Okay. Yes. Want to go to the lounge? The lounge? Tina Fey here is pretending to be less famous than she is. It was like my second favorite thing she did this year after her Sarah Palin uh, impression. But the winner in the 2008 Celebrity Bobby is a whole bunch of people. Watch this. We are one people. We are one nation. And together, together we will begin the next great chapter, chapter in the American story with three words, three words that will ring from, from coast, coast to coast, coast from sea to shining sea. Yes, we can. 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 Yes. Will I Am, John Legend, Scarlett Johansson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, a whole lot of celebrities win the 2008 Bobby for one of the most remarkable videos I have ever seen. A uh, political music video which turns the lyrical oratory of Barack Obama into actual lyrics. Uh, you remember when uh, Chris Matthews said on MSNBC that uh, Obama sent a chill up his leg? Well, watching this spot, uh, i got to tell you, I felt pretty much the same thing. Well, that's it, the 2008 Bobbies. Uh, hope you enjoyed these performances. See you in a year with another batch. Uh, till then, this is Bob Garfield. Bye-bye. <laughs>